of Terrific TV Toys, you saw four action figures slash dolls by Kenner from the 1970s celebrating the TV shows The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman. They were fabulous! Now let's turn our attention to five newer figures. These are by Biff Bang Pow. They were released in 2012 and they're way different from those Kenner originals. This is a five-part series coming at you and each one of these parts is an out-of-the-box experience. What better way to kick off our series than with the man, the six million dollar man, Colonel Steve Austin, as played by Lee Majors in every incarnation of the six million dollar man, including all of the TV movies. I will note that the very first appearance of this character was in a TV movie in 1973 simply called The Six Million Dollar Man. There were two other TV movies that followed that year. Then the series itself ran from 1974 to 1978. And then, of course, Lee Majors also played The Six Million Dollar Man on episodes of the sister series, The Bionic Woman. So what you're looking at is Biff Bang Pow's 2012 version of the Colonel Steve Austin action figure and as I mentioned in the season one set of episodes for Terrific TV Toys we focus on the original 12 inch set of action figure slash dolls by Kenner from the 1970s while the two shows were airing originally and there is a 12 incher of Steve Austin. There's actually two different versions. Uh, mine has the red top and the denim bottoms but there is another version that looks a little bit more like this, um, this newer version. So there were a set of six of these originally in 2012. You can see all six on the art on the back. There are two versions of Steve Austin. So there's this version and then there's another one with a more civilian outfit to that one I do not have. But you're going to see the others, um, the other four in this special series that we're doing on Terrific TV Toys. So you can see they get a little bit of verbiage on the back of the packaging. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology and so on. Those famous words that were quoted by <laughs> Richard Anderson as Oscar Goldman in the introduction of the show. Um, it is owned by NBC Universal, and so that is marked here, Television Consumer Products. Then you've got the MC Toys logo, BiffBangPow.com and then um, some trademark copyright information here. Just noting that the character is a trademark and copyright of Universal Studios, etc., etc., used under license by Biff Bang Pow, and on and on, and MC Toys. So the front of this package, um, we've got pretty simple, very recognizable red imagery and logo for the TV show. There also has been a newer comic book series for The Six Million Dollar Man and also a newer comic book series for Bionic Woman from the past several years. And um, so perhaps that tied in with these newer action figures. Um, this is an out-of-the-box experience, as I mentioned. So we're going to open this baby up. So you, if you own this and it's still in the plastic, as you see now, then step with me in the joy of opening this. Um, I will note also that there's a price tag here. 20 bucks I paid for this. I think I got most or all of my five figures from a Comic Con. I think I bought a bunch of them at once and I paid about this same price for all of them. Um, and so that was probably a year or two after they were released. Um, all right. So we've got a little sticker here that says, includes exclusive keychain that plays bionic sound effects. Oh boy, I can't wait. I hope it still works in 2015. I'm going to assume so. <laughs> so let's start opening this officially licensed product, as the verbiage says at the top. Steve, we are about to free you. We have the technology, which is really just my two bare hands. Okay, now, of course, these figures, I'm sure um, you would see that these are inspired by Mego figures of the 70s. Um, Mego has been so popular through the years, and so um, definitely you see an influence here 
for those. Although these look, I don't have my ruler in front of me. Maybe I'll measure them later and add that note. But these look slightly smaller than Migos. Migos were known to be eight inches. And um, this guy looks a little bit smaller than that. And then also, one thing that struck me about these figures when I very first saw them in person, the heads look big, don't they? Doesn't his head look a little bit big? I don't know. Um, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Okay, so we're taking twisty tie off. These out of the box experiences, I never really know what I'm going to encounter for packaging. You can't quite tell that from the outside, <laughs> so I suppose I should have had a pair of scissors on hand nearby. Whoa, okay, we're working. We're still working in 2015. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that is so beautiful. <laughs> so we've got the nice handy dandy keychain. I see a little um, screw on back door here in case you ever need to change the batteries. It looks like it's got a tiny little symbols for what kind of batteries go into it, but it's working. Oh, beautiful, Mr. Anderson. Oh, I so love that. So, of course, it's got the name of the show and then copyright 2012 by Universal Studios in a really nice keychain. Let's press it one more time to see if we've heard them all. Okay. Okay, I think with that, we've cycled through. That is very nice. Kudos to Biff Bang Pow and MC Toys. Okay, so here's Steve himself, and I'm already noticing, look at this clear action for this arm. The bionic arm is shown as clear halfway up, and then underneath, oh, this is so fun. I hope the camera's picking this up. There's like image, there's an imprint of like the inner workings of his arm, the gizmos and gadgets and everything. Love that. And of course, his wrist is articulated. So they put a little bit of thought into this. And then the other arm is normal, you can see, with the articulated wrist. He's got his little red running suit on. How adorable. We're going to take a look. Oh, this is different. Um, there's a little imprint here on his back, MC Toys for the mold made in China. But then on the side, we have a printed, not imprinted, but printed in black, well, basically looks like black ink, 2012 Universal Studios Biff Bang Pow. Okay. And then anything on the back of the head or neck? Nope. But he's got his hair molded on in the style that Lee Majors wore it and his blue eyes. We'll see if this comes through as well. Um, and then lots of articulation as um, the Migos that I believe influence it. Oh, he's got some red underwear on. Oh, please forgive me. I know at least one person out there who's shaking his head right now because he always teases me about wanting to take the clothes off my dolls or action figures. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the bionic legs. And again, we have the clear action going on. Are these sneakers removable? I think they are, but I'm not really gonna force it too much. Yeah, they are. I'm not gonna force it. I'm a little leery with stuff like this, especially first taking it out of the package. Okay, so you can see there's also an image on the clear leg to denote the inner workings of the bionic leg. And then again, on the other one, we see the image, the leg. So if you don't take this out of the package, you do miss that part of it. It's quite cool. And again, as with the arm, it goes up to the first, the first articulation there, which in this case is the knee, similar to where the elbow was on the arm. So yeah, he's, um, I'd say they did a pretty good job with him. He's a great addition to any six million dollar man collection and stay tuned for the other episodes because we'll take a look at the other four dolls slash action figures that i own in this set thanks for watching